What's up guys, in this video, I'll be reviewing the New Balance 327 sneaker to see if it's worth copping or dropping. Let's get it boys. Guys, New Balance sneakers have been popping off lately due to their fresh colorways as well as their retro silhouettes. They are made to match perfectly with the current earth trend right now. But the question is, should you cop a pair of New Balance 327s? To answer that, I'll be reviewing this sneaker on price, quality, style, fit, and durability. And at the end, I'll give it a heat score to see if it's worth copping or dropping. But before we move on to price, let's go through a quick history lesson on the brand. New Balance is known for their comfort and arch design and has now come back due to the resurgence of retro fashion and has become a trendy brand. Now let's move on to the price. The sneaker is going for $99.99 USD, which is comparable to its competitors Fila and Nike. And I would say it's a pretty affordable sneaker. So I would give the price a four out of five, my guy. Moving on to quality. The sneaker has a suede and mesh upper featuring an exaggerated fang design inspired by the 320, 355 and super comp. The sneaker also has a rubber heel wrap and retro inspired nylon tongue. Also the shoe has the green leaf standard meaning the upper is made of 50% or more recycled content and supports responsible manufacturing. Overall the shoe has great quality so I'm gonna give the sneaker a 4 out of 5. Moving on to the style. The shoe has a very classic minimalist vibe which is what a lot of people are going for at the moment. So so the one I got is this neutral tone colorway and on the website it's called Nimbus Cloud with Rain Cloud and I think it looks swagtastic and will match a lot of my earth tone fits. In regards to detail, the sneaker has a flared midsole and the oversized end branding looks freaking sweet. There's also the squid suction cup lugged outsoles inspired by the 355 trail running shoe. The overall shoe is inspired by the 70s with contemporary elements and I really like the 327 silhouette so I'm gonna give it a 5 out of 5 my boys. Moving on to the fit. So I'm wearing a size 9 and the sneaker does fit true to size. It does feel very breathable and fits very comfortably. Compared to other running shoes, they're pretty heavy if you're using them to run. But if you're just swagging it up, it's standard. So I'm gonna give the fit a 5 out of 5. Moving on to durability. The sole is very durable and since the uppers are made from suede material, they are durable but not great for moisture. So if you're just using them to stun them them honeys, it will definitely last a while. So I'm gonna give the durability a 5 out of 5. Alright boys, now it's time for the final verdict. <laughs> the shoe gets a 23 out of 25 and gets the extreme heat score! Due to its affordable pricing, awesome quality, swagtastic style, super comfy fit, and great durability. These New Balance 327s are 100% worth copping, so definitely pick them up ASAP so the honeys will eat that booty like groceries. And to make it easy for you, I'll link the shoes in the description below. And that's it for this New Balance 327 sneaker review. It's your boy, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.